Thanks. The number of ticks and Lyme disease in the area seem to be on the rise. And doctors warning tonight they are seeing more people with tick bites than usual. Jacqueline Kovac joins us live now with the details. Jackie. Mel, it was just released last week that the number of ticks in the state of Pennsylvania carrying Lyme disease has increased by 25%. And doctors say they're seeing double the amount of patients in their offices with tick bites. So they say they want people to take proactive steps in order to prevent getting the disease. Doctors at Eye Care Medical Center say they are seeing about 20 people a week for tick bites, doubling what they normally see at this time of year. We're seeing ticks pretty much everywhere, not just wooded areas, but around houses, in yards, just about anywhere. Dr. Matthew Zidell says many of the ticks he's had to remove are on the smaller side, but warn you should seek medical attention as soon as you know you've been bit. The thing with ticks, they can be as small as the dot at the end of a sentence up into a bigger tick. Ticks are known to carry Lyme disease, and all 67 counties within Pennsylvania have reported cases of the disease this year. Dr. Zidell says if you can't see a doctor right away but need to remove a tick from yourself or a family member, concentrate on getting the entire head. Um, now, the key with removing a tick is removing the entire head and body. So you'll want to place the tweezers over the head as close to the skin as possible and pull straight up. No twisting motions um, and try to get the entire head and body of the tick. Dr. Zidell says should you experience symptoms of Lyme disease, such as fatigue or an unusual rash, you should seek a doctor right away. Although it may be difficult to do in the summertime, doctors do recommend wearing longer sleeves and long pants and tucking those, your pants into your socks, especially when you're in taller grass or wooded areas where ticks are known to be. But they also say wearing repellent such as DEET will also help. Reporting live in the Johnstown Newsroom, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News.